What's up guys welcome back to the cord mat so after so many requests coming up for the low level design uh, I have decided to create uh, one series on a low level design so those who are watching uh, uh, this video please do subscribe as this is going to have a more useful information in upcoming series videos all right and uh, in this low level design uh, we split it into two parts the first part we will clear some of the basics about low level design and in the second phase we will going to have some of the our uh, definitions and case studies and we will try to discuss a low level design for those case studies all right so now let's get started with the overview of the low level design all right so any software development life cycle that starts from the your requirement gathering all right so first phase is a requirement gathering once we have requirements with us so next phase that starts is hld high level design all right so in the hld it's a general system design we we do a trade off between different frameworks components and different databases and you, we will select a best out of it again it is going to be a general way of designing a system we are still not bother about how actual code will work all right so at the high level you do a different component selection you define their relationship you define with how they will communicate so these are the part of we will do at a high level design all right so for example let's say you have a given a requirement as a we need to design a one user service all right and that user service should support uh, create delete update operation of the user also user should be able to log in and log out okay so this is a this is a rough uh, requirement let's say given to us so for that the high level design could be look like this is what the high level design for that so we do a different trade off we select a different component let's say here load balancer and then we define a user service and then we define a database all right so again we don't know how the user service will behave but for now there will be a component called user service which will do a query and uh it will return a result so this is a kind of high level design that we do in the hld phase all right so after that your hld the next phase will comes up as a lld so from the hld as a developer it is difficult to write a logic or code for the user service because it has many operations and behavior which it supports so to write down a logic it is not easy from the hld because hld gives you overview of that component all right so to write down a logic and code to un which can be understand by developer we have lld so lld always works at a component level it gives a design at a component level all right so for lld there will be input is always your high level design so you have high level design from the high level design we pick the single component and we design for we design lld for those components again this low level design will give you the uh exact details of how your class diagram and methods will will be there uh, within your component and it also gives you like what what will be the structure of your class what will be the behavior and responsibility that class will have so it gives you a uh, details at component level all right and from this design and from this details it is easy for the developer to write down a logic or write down a actual code for that again for if we take example of our previous example where the user service was there and the H hld we have seen that at a high level how the other different different components were there now if you write down a lld or if you write down a class diagram for that now class diagram is one of the diagram as a part of lld which we write it okay so that will be look like this way so if you see here we have a segregated or we have defined different different entities which can be a part of my component all right so user service is one then user is other and user can have address and as well as profile so i have uh, segregated the different entities which can be part of it and i have assigned a different different uh responsibility to different different entity okay so now if i as a developer if i go then uh read this uh, diagram then it will be easy for me to write down a code from that or to write uh, to convert this diagram into the code all right so that's where we can get a benefit from the lld all right so for high level design our input is whatever the requirement uh, given to us right based on the requirement we will create our high level design and we will select different components okay and for low level design uh, our input is going to be your 
high level design okay so in the high level design whatever the component we have defined that is going to be input for the low level design so how can we uh, transform this component to the low level design so if you see different components will have its own uh, behavior and it has its own structure so whenever we define a behavior and its uh, structure in the low level design that also going to be there in the your low level design so it will have a, a kind of a structure how your component will be look like how the different entities having their structure and how the different entities will have their responsibility or a behavior all right so to transform this high level design of that component to the low level design we we use something called a uml diagram so it is a, a unified modeling uh, language which can be used to define the structure and uh, different behaviors that different entities will have in the low level design so this is again going to be useful as a, from the develop per perspective to understand what sort of a structure of this uh, uh, component will have and what all operations it will support so this operations is nothing but your behavior in the that component all right so with the use of uh, uml there are different uml diagrams are there so we can use those and probably that can be helpful to design your low level design okay all right so, so adding to the uml diagrams we also highly used object oriented uh, principles as well as solid principles uh, during uh, your lld design so these two uh, principles will ensure that we will have a uh, correctly identify the entities and given a uh, proper responsibility uh, to those entities so using this three paradigm we convert your whatever the component in hld or high level design can be converted to the low level design so in that case whatever the design that we had previously in a user service uh, that can be converted in a low level design and that can be picked up by the developer or it can be understood by the developer and that can be implemented all right so in the uml diagrams what all uml diagrams we have so based on your component component uh, have a structure as well as it can have your behavior right so based on these two uh, parameters or these two properties we have two different sections to create a uml diagrams or create a different uh, diagrams for the your components so those can be segregated in a structure uml diagrams and other one is a behavioral uml diagrams so structure uml diagrams mainly focuses on how your different entities or objects will be structured how they will be correlated and so there are different seven uh, diagrams are there which can be helpful in your component that how your component will be look like with respect to the structure all right so one of them is class diagram then there is object diagram uh, package diagram and component diagram so these are like nested level so class is a main entity and then there will be objects so on top of that there is a package and then there will be component diagram and then composite structure of the diagram uh, and each each uh, your component will have a deployment so we will have a deployment diagram and at the end we will have a profile diagram okay so but main uh, useful diagram in the from the structure side which can be again useful to the developer is the class diagram which gives you the idea that how different classes have their correlation how they are linked with each other all right so when you have a class diagram uh, handy with you you can start writing a, or forming a, uh, that uh, entity or object diagram to the your code and same way in the behavioral side so behavioral again defines what what all uh, different operations it will support so using different diagrams it can uh, showcase how how your component will behave okay so there are different seven uh, diagrams in the behavior also so one is sequence diagram which gives you how your one operations will be uh, trigger or how it will go through the different entities and what all what all sequence it will perform okay so you next is your have a use case diagram so use case diagram ultimately gives you uh, a one actor what all operations he or she can do on the system so that is nothing but your use case diagram next is your activity diagram so activity diagram is again uh, gives you the idea like when i started this operation so based on different conditions my flow will go uh, in a different direction so that will be showcased by the activity the same way other four uh, four also are there state diagram 
how your different classes will communicate then interaction overflow diagram and timing diagram so these are like will be useful uh, uh, during your to give you idea of your how your component will behave all right so once you have this design and uh, diagrams handy with you how quickly you can convert your comp high level component to the code so that's pretty much about this session so in the next uh, session we will uh, go through this four highlighted uh, diagrams the one is class diagram sequence diagram use case and activity how it will be useful and uh, how if the definition is given to you how you will create it and uh, we will do some best practice also during the next session all right so stay tuned guys and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel because this is going to be evaluated uh, to your knowledge all right so see you in the next video till the time bye bye